All right, I did a poll on my channel asking people where I should go next, and the overwhelming favorite was, ta-da, Split Paw. To be fair, I only put options of places I would actually want to go. But I found, I did a Who All Split Paw. I found there were a couple people in there, so I sent them a tell, and I may have found a group. Ooh, there it is. Cool. So I've shown the outside of Split Paw before. Oh, that's the person in my group. It's a bard. I would like to show the inside. All right, so the spires, there's a little hole right here. You run inside this hole, and we've got a little group here, so this could be fun. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. maybe this guy wants to join. Well, just, hell, I'll just invite everyone. Why not? The more the merrier. Oh, we got a damn near full group. Okay, sorry for the slight bit of chaos here. Let's see if this is the guy they're talking about. Okay, let me get some bus out. So we've got a ranger. That's, uh, what's her name? Noria. We've got a rogue, which is Brinlin. We've got a shadow knight which is alt and we've got another rogue which is higher level i'm sorry not another rogue another ranger which is higher level which is marl dono and she has a two-in weapon i like that it's her weapon oh ooh, that's a good weapon i like that okay so split paw Splitpaw is kind of like the leveled up version of Blackboro, which I know I haven't shown Blackboro yet. And I want to show Blackboro at some point. I will show it at the very least on some sort of dungeon countdown video. But for the time being, Blackboro is kind of like... Oh, hold on, I gotta answer these questions. All right, so Blackboro is kind of like the crush bone of Western Antonica. Probably the first dungeon a lot of people will ever see in this game, either that or Crushbone. But Split Paw is kind of like the mid to upper 30s version of Black Burrow, because Black Burrow kind of tops out around level 20. So you theoretically graduate from Black Burrow around level 20 ish, and then you do whatever until about level 30, and then you can go to Split Paw. I mean, you can do Split Paw late 20s, mid to late 20s, I guess, if you're the right class. But really, I would say Split Paw kind of starts around level 30, and you could do Split Paw until about level 40, but the problem is this zone is so underutilized. People never want to go past... Whoa. There's two doors up here. People never want to go past those doors because a lot of people feel like this zone is kind of broken in the sense that there's just ridiculously broken trains that can pull way too many mobs if you pull past that door. And I'm not saying that's wrong, because I've been in a lot of situations in this zone where you definitely have a massive trains if you try to pull past that door. It's something weird having to do with, like, there's a, a level above this level that we're on right now that can aggro, but they don't just jump straight down. They run through a bunch of the zone before they get to you, and that causes a massive train. And that's the primary reason why a lot of people just don't like going past the two doors. The problem I have with that is there's so much more to this zone than just this first little area. I mean, we came in from that way and there is a, it's basically linear up to this point and then it kind of branches off. So typically when you see people in this zone, they're either doing right up until the door like we are, they're doing the Ishva Mall or some epic quest item further into the dungeon. And that's about it. Like, no one really does any of the other stuff. And what I hate about that is this zone has potential to be kind of like a lower guck, but for upper 20s into mid 30s. Whereas lower guck is kind of like the mid 30s to, I guess, 50 version of that. Tons of different camps. Tons of XP bonuses. This zone has pretty good XP bonus. I mean, I've already gotten a decent chunk, even with a full group here. But 
The, the other problem this zone has, and I do think people would be willing to wi risk the whole train situation, the loot here kind of sucks. I mean, you, you, the robe that drops in the Istral Mall is a good robe pre-Kunark. After that, it kind of falls off. It's a problem this zone has. I mean, it's a problem that several zones have that are underutilized. Like, I think of Permafrost. I definitely think of Split Paw. Runny Eye is another good example. People just felt like, okay, these zones are fine. They have good XP. The, the loot just isn't there. They're dangerous and the loot isn't there. And that's why people do go to Lower Guck and they don't go to Running Eye and Split Paw. But I contend. I, I can't help but think about what could have been if they had given this zone A, better loot, and B, less trains, I guess. But here we are. So we're in Split Paw. So most people would say this is not the ideal way to form a group for a couple of reasons. One, we have both a bard and an enchanter. There's some overlap there. Two, we have three hybrid classes. Well, actually four if you count the bard. I don't know if we're at the point yet where they got rid of the XP penalty for grouping with hybrids. But early on, if you're grouping with a shadow knight, a ranger, a ranger, and a bard, <laughs> that's a lot of XP suck. I think they took that out though. I think now there's no penalty for grouping with hybrids. But on the plus side, we have a lot of DPS. We should have a pretty good tank here. I don't know what level this alt guy is. 28, okay, well that's uh, that's a little on the low side. I didn't realize that. Especially because one of our rangers is 35. Maybe that ranger should be tanking. But we also have a rogue. Two rangers and a rogue and the enchanter charming and using a pet. That should be pretty good XP in theory. We'll see if it works out that way. Unfortunately, it's going to be hard to even show much past this door. But you can see that upper area right there is what I'm talking about, where something can aggro up there and then... Uh, this could be dangerous. Instead of just jumping down, it'll run down that hall or down that hall. And it'll eventually come out that door right there with a bunch of friends. And that's the problem. I am the only healer in this group officially. We do have two rangers, which is... Sort of healers. <laughs> Here's the other problem. Sometimes when NPCs run, they run toward that door over there, which is problematic for many reasons. Hey, look, I'm in a barrel. <laughs> oh man, my mana's so good, I might just nuke. The other thing about this zone, and one of the reasons why I am so nostalgic about it is that I have a ton of nostalgia about the fact that this is one of the first zones I actually ever saw before I committed to getting this game back in 2000. I remember going over to my buddy's house. The first place I ever saw MXP was in the high keep basement. This is the second place. And I thought, gosh, that looks kind of like when you were just sitting at the bottom of that place in high keep killing goblins and other people just pulling them, the group killing them. This is basically the same thing, right? It's like a, it's almost the same looking little area. But yeah, I mean, this is a very fun place. Oh, we got a magician that wants to join. Come on in. The water's fine. And the XP's pretty good too. Now, I'd rather have an enchanter than a magician. However, magician pet, pretty good DPS. Not as good DPS as if we had an enchanter charming, but pretty good. So yeah, I have a very strong nostalgia factor for this zone. I kind of figured at that point that the whole game was just people sitting in the same spot, pulling mobs over and over. And honestly, that's not too far off. That's, that's a lot of the game. But it just so happens that this dungeon and this part of this dungeon and that part of High Keeper, pretty similar looking, I would say, with the exception of gnolls versus goblins. But they're both old world, and I think the game did a pretty good job of switching it up a bit once they got into Kunark and Velas. Ah, here's another fun thing about this zone. You get every class from these gnolls. Uh, maybe not every class, but you get all the different types. So for example, you don't see this very often in this game. We have magician NPCs. That's pretty rare. You'll sometimes see wizard NPCs. In fact, a lot of the time you'll see wizard and cleric NPCs, but you don't see 
this type of magician very often. I find it very interesting. You also have rogues, for sure. You've got the usual... I think there's enchanter NPCs here, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that you can get some enchanter NPCs, which is pretty cool. And these are for something, but darn it if I can't remember what they're for. I think it's something to do with Quenos, which I can't turn in because I don't have the faction. Boo. So one of the dangers here is I'm pretty sure that we have a ranger pulling without harmony because rangers can't harmony indoor. And if you're pulling past that door without any kind of pacify or harmony, it can get real ugly real fast. But we have a pretty good group that's killing stuff pretty quickly. Maybe we could handle a mini train, not a huge train, a mini train. Oh my gosh, they're talking about moving up. <laughs> uh, ooh, I'd, I'd like one of those. They're talking about moving in further, which is so rare. I guess the fact that we're mostly low to mid 30s helps. Ooh, I never even knew that this was like a, I wonder if I could see anything with my gnome powers. Ooh, I see a jail-ish. Wow, this zone is actually quite large. Oh my gosh, this is so rare. What a what a fantastic opportunity. Oh, there's the jail. And now I can actually show Ultra Vision too. I don't think I've ever shown Ultra Vision on this walkthrough. Make sure I got myself targeted. Oh, do I need to do something with it? Oh, put it in my range. Well, I might as well. Okay, so you see how it got a little blue there, especially on the left side of the screen here? That's Ultra Vision. And if it were dark in here, like quite dark, it would be even more noticeable. I think we're all here. Gosh, this is so rare. I can't I can't emphasize enough how rare it is to be in a group where you actually move in further and split paw. And here you can see it starts to turn more cave-like the deeper in you go. Whoa, someone's getting hit pretty hard. Let's see what these things spawn or count. Oh what? Oh, there must be another one here. Okay. I don't think anything yet is going to con yellow or even even to me. Even, even. But it can get pretty hairy in here. Oh, one more is coming. It's rooted. So this... Oh, boy. I see something casting a fear spell. That's not good. I don't... Uh... Okay, it says you're unstunned, so I wonder if I was actually feared. Or if I was just stunned and it's a necromob. Oh my goodness gracious. And who's this? Destructivia? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a 51. Okay. Now the music is getting kind of creepy too. Ooh, you can see a mob up there. I'm gonna go ahead and root this. This is so chaotic. Is this our new area? Ah, I think this is the magician's pet. And I'm gonna go ahead and root this again, away from the group. Creepy music, creepy sneaky music. I see anything up there? No, just more cave-like structures. We're off again. I don't think my group realizes that this guy's here. I just noticed the, na the name of the guild that this Shadow Knight is in, Blue Dragon Rogues. What a bizarre name. Alright, I guess we're moving. Uh-oh. 
Someone said the S word. <laughs> Good thing this high level mage pet is here. Uh, let me heal her. I don't want this group to end. My goal is to end, have this group not die, like me not die. Because that has happened the last two times that I've done one of these videos. I can sit without getting aggro. There is a healer. Slashed by ice? Oh. Pet. <laughs> what the hell does that mean, a slashed by ice? I'm looking through the walls here just to see what I can see. Looks like more gnolls, some more downward stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a whole water area, and it looks very cavernous. This zone actually reminds me a lot of Chardock. I know this zone came out first. But there's a lot of elements, the further you go into Chardock, you see a lot of that, like, a lot of this looking stuff. Like these cavernous things coming down from the ceiling. Same with over there. And like little pits with water. Just reminds me. So I didn't really explain this earlier, but this is an item that magicians can summon. And it does give you some saves, but the, where it says no rent, that means if I log out, it'll... Poof, it'll go away, and then I gotta go back to my crappy little, uh, whatever this garbage is. But it's got Ultra Vision, that's the real benefit. I mean, the saves are nice, but Ultra Vision is, uh, pretty useful. If you were in a raid situation where you needed those saves and you didn't have them in a range slot, then those would be the real benefit. Ha! <laughs> this magician's awesome, he's offering up all his summon stuff. So Dimensional Hole is another thing they can summon. Six capacity, 100% weight reduction, it can hold any sized item, because it's... Can, giant sized items so that's the largest size you can get only weighs 0.1 problem it's no rent so if you camp out and you have anything important there you just lost that okay so typically these white gnolls they are lower level and i'm trying to con them right now so that one's actually blue which is unusual i guess this one would be as well yes so that one's indifferent though i wonder why it's indifferent oh heal God, listen to the sound of that whip from the mage pet with two stun whips. Those stun whips drop here, by the way. They're three damage, I think 20 delay, and they proc stun, so that's a really good pet weapon. I would hope with two rangers that were snaring everything here. And one of the be benefits of this is that I'm actually getting Guards of Quinos faction and Residents of Karanas. Okay, good. That'll help me out with those farmers that are KOS to me in North Karana. Oh, wow. Gosh, I haven't been here in a long time. Look at this. There's like an upper level up there. There's a waterfall. Oh, I love waterfalls. <gasps> Another waterfall. Wow, look at that. Look at... Where the heck would that even be? We're under... <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I... <sighs> that is so cool. I mean, this is something that... Many people will play through this whole game and never see this part because... People just tell you to stay away from Splitpaw. Whoa! Snakes! And they're indifferent. Wow. Look at that. Oh, we've reached the point where I'm seeing even con gnolls. That is scary. Whew, this is so cool. I know I'm supposed to be with my group, but I'm just so stunned by these sights that you so rarely see. Okay. I'm... 
appreciative. I, honestly, I'm going to heal this person because I don't want her to die because she's been very helpful even though she's not in our group. She's also naked, so I'm assuming she's fighting back to her corpse. This is our camp, eh? <gasps> this small executioner and a judge. Oh my goodness, this is scary. A judge and an executioner. Where's the jury? We've got two out of the three. And she's going down fast. Good thing I got mana for this. One of these is a cleric. Oh no, she's, it's just got the... Uh, Resisted root. Um, let me just hit Divine Aura real quick. Whew! I gotta kill this person. Gotta drop Divine Aura. <clears throat> this is gonna get me aggro again, I assume. This is my last heal. Oh boy. This could be the end. <laughs> all my all my groups are cursed. Uh yes, please root that. Root and run. At the very least, snare. Can't even root. No. Oh my god, everyone's dying. So tense, I don't know who to heal. I'm assuming I should heal Drumma, but oh no, now she's getting aggro again. <sighs> I wish the Shadow Knight would pull aggro. This is, uh, if we make it through this, we really need a med break. She died. No. <sighs> Damn. Now the rogues get. Ugh. Oh, we still have one here that's mezzed. to do here other than ask for help. Try to root this thing. Whew. That was close. That was really close. Okay, we might be able to survive this if I can just res these people if they're okay with taking the XP hit. this person. <sighs> well, let's see if we can regroup from here. Gonna have to try to mess these people. Or res. <laughs> Alright, I get to mem my res for the, the second time ever. 
is I'll put it here. This uh, higher level mage that's been with us, not like, it, it's really just a coincidence. I talked to him a little bit. He's fighting back to get to his corpse. He, I assume it's a he, could be a she, because uh, it's a female character. <laughs> this zone is good XP for soloing. No, this zone is good XP as long as you move from spot you killed mob to other. That way you get time from a roamer or to mid. That's a little bit complicated, but I agree. This is kind of a complicated zone to pull in, kind of a complicated zone to stay in one camp. It is good for moving from spot to spot, kind of like a dungeon crawl. All right, looks like we're invising out. I, I don't know that everything here doesn't see invis. Goodbye, cool places with paws on the wall and waterfalls. Someone's got to leave, so we got to go back to the entrance. I It sucks. I gave them both <laughs> zero XP or S's. They probably lost XP overall here. Or maybe broke even. Who knows? It's scary running past all this stuff because I really don't know what season it is and what doesn't. So now we're going back to the entrance. This is the place I'm talking about that looks kind of like Chardock. Okay, now we're right near the entrance, so we should be good. I'm pretty sure some of those things like magicians see in this. Whew. Now this is an area that's pretty common to camp if you're solo. Whew. At least we made it. I feel safe. Eh, it wasn't the most exploration, but it was honestly more exploration than you'll see from Split Pot typically, so. Let's zone out and get some so. Before we head back into Split Pot, I want to show two things that are pretty interesting that happened outside of this group. So, one was me and this bard, we fought a Cyclops, which I just thought was cool because I want to show a Cyclops. It was kind of a lot for just the two of us to take on. This was like right next to Split Pot. We did this whole thing with the Bard Fears, and I nuke, and he melees. It worked out, it took a little while. You can see the weather, <laughs> it took so long that the weather ended up changing. So the Cyclops also made a pretty cool sound, which it's like a stationary Cyclops sound, not like a aggro Cyclops sound. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, so after the Cyclops, the Bard actually switched over to her Ranger, who's in the same level range, like 32, 33. That's why I kept getting so confused during the group saying, oh, two Rangers, when it was actually, she switched back to the Bard by the time we went into the group. So this was before, but we did this thing she showed me that I had never heard of. It's basically this cycle you can do in South Karana, not too far from the Split Paw Zone, where you can get this Troll Shadow Knight to spawn. And the Troll Shadow Knight drops, it ha he has a couple drops, but the main drop that he has is an Invis Ring. It has three charges of invisibility. I think it's the Shadow Knight uh, slash Necro invisibility. But you can see here, it's three charges, drops the ring every time. The Troll is around level 27. The worst thing about it is the Harm Touch. And I guess the pet can be kind of annoying too. That's why I mainly took care of the pet. You can recharge these rings. So apparently you need two of them. So we did this until I got two rings and you sell them to a merchant, one can be empty, the other one has to be full, buy them both back, it costs, I don't know, less than 20 plat, and you get them recharged, so that's, I guess, what I'll use for invisibility from here on out when I need it. As for the rest of level 33, nothing too exciting. We did regroup, we lost the ranger and the bard, we added a rogue, so I became the only healer in the group, which was fine. We stayed before the doors, nothing too dangerous. Shadow Knight stepped up and tanked, which was really good. Crowd control was also pretty much down to me because we lost that enchanter as well. Me rooting or the mage pet off tanking, which was honestly, it worked. It worked fine. We, we did it okay. So you'll see me ding here. I just want to emphasize something that I said earlier in the video. This tour of paw, while not anywhere close to being a complete tour of paw, honestly, there are people who will go this entire game. They'll get to level 60. They'll raid Temple of Vishen and Sleeper's Tomb and Vishen's Peak and all that stuff. And they will never see this. They will never see those waterfalls and those judges and executioners and all the stuff that's even deeper into Paw because this zone is just so overlooked. That's the thing I always think about with Split Paw. It is so overlooked. I think the same thing about Permafrost to an extent. People think of it as just like the box zone and there's actually a lot of cool stuff in there. Not just the bear pits, I mean the goblin parts. But anyway, I love Split Paw. 
I hope I was able to show some of the really cool aspects of this zone. Next video, level 34, it's a spell level. I'm very excited about that. I get a ton of new spells and I can actually afford them all this time, which is kind of new for me. So we're going to do some of that. And one of my spells, I got to go to Velius to get. So we might just have to do some icy exploration together. Won't you join me? See you next time.